I'm making for you today a baked brie. That's one of the cheese dishes that I really like. It's very easy to make, but it makes you feel a little fancy on the inside. So what I have here is a piece of puff pastry. You get this in the frozen section of your supermarket. It comes in a box. There's two sheets in a box. You only need one sheet for this recipe. So you thought according to the directions on the package, there's a quick thaw method and then an overnight method. So choose the method that works for you. And then I just kind of roll it out so it's a little bigger than how it is when you unfold it. Not a lot, this is fine. Next I have the brie. The brie comes in a cute little wooden box like this. Um, it's always, I've only known it to be round. And you can get this in your specialty cheese section of the supermarket. Um, most supermarkets have it. So you just take it out, unwrap it. And this is the cheese. It's a nice piece of cheese. So now what I want to do is you want to cut the wheel of cheese in half. So you take a very sharp knife like the one I have here and you just kind of eyeball it, moving your knife slowly. You surely don't want to cut yourself and it doesn't have to be perfectly in half, just no one will know. And if I can just get it through the middle, we'll be good. But I'm almost there. Okay. My cheese got a little soft, but we're good. We're okay. I think I'm okay. All right, good. So we got the cheese in half. That's exactly what we want. You see it's nice and creamy. It's going to be delicious. So the next thing you want to do is take a quarter of a cup of nuts. I used pecans. You could use walnuts. Almonds I think would be really delicious, but I cho chose pecans today and I chopped them, put them on a baking sheet, and I just toasted them a little just so you start to smell them. And I have two tablespoons of honey, and I'm going to pour that over the nuts. And this is fresh local honey, which you buy your local honey, it's all going to taste different, but it's all delicious. I'm good with that. Mix this up. So you have the honey, the nuts. So you're going to put one part of your cheese right in the middle of the puff pastry. You're going to put your nuts and the honey on top. And this, you don't have to be fancy because it's all going to be wrapped inside the puff pastry. So it's going to be one big package of yumminess, cheesy, gooey delicious, excellent. Then you're going to put the other top on. So there you go. Now I'm going to lift up the pastry. I'm kind of going to close it over the brie. I'm going to gather it up loosely like this. So I have it loosely like this and I want to make it look like a beggar's pouch. So I have some kitchen string right here, so I'm going to just take off a piece and I'm going to tie this up so when it's baking this will stay looking like a little purse. And the puff pastry is going to get all yummy. Tie a little bow. You are going to cut the string off before you serve it, you are, definitely. So here we go. Look how cute that is. And right here I have one egg mixed with a little bit of water and I'm going to brush this, move my baking sheet over. So it's going to bake on this little baking sheet right in the oven, 400 degrees for about 30 minutes and the outside will be golden and beautiful and the inside is going to be cheesy, nutty, sweet with the honey and I'll show you when it comes out of the oven how we're going to serve it. You could serve this many different ways. And if you don't want to do honey and nuts, you can do raspberry jam, any kind of sweet jam, apricot jam. It's all good. Okay. I could spend like a lot of time doing this because it's fun. But this is going to go in the 400 degree oven, bake for about 20 to 30 minutes until this is golden brown and then we'll eat it up. This is my brie, my baked brie, out of the oven. See, it got all golden and beautiful, and it looks like a little pouch. And I just want to get rid of the string that I tied around it, so I'm going to just cut that away. 
pull it out. It really is cute. There we go. That's all gone, so now we're good. You can serve this with a nice French baguette, some water crackers, some apple. I have an apple here. I'm going to make some slices. Any crackers that you like, uh, grapes, anything would be delicious. So, you know, I could just slice up this beautiful gala apple and keep putting it around my platter. But right now what I really want to do is cut into this brie because it's kind of like a mystery in there. So there's some apple. Oh. Oh boy. Okay, what you have here is gooey, honey, nuts, cheese, puff pastry. I have a bite. It's delicious. Please try this. Mm. This is really, really good. Cheers.